Hello everyone, so I'm back on the job that I did um, towards the latter end of last year, this lovely sort of single story, quite architecturally featured um, extension that we did and there's a couple little bits and bobs I've got to finish um, and the main one is this access door to the garage. So this is where the garage door was and what we're going to do is basically use some uh, this is uh, Siberian larch, we've got some of this left over, so what I'm going to do is basically clad an old door that we took off the inside to try and match in with the rest of this job. So here's the Siberian larch uh, that we had left over, it's sort of a tongue and grooved, and this is the old door that we took off. Um, these, Although these were internal doors, they are actually frame legend brace external doors, so what I'm going to do is cut this one down and then get the cladding on from here. I know the width of the door I want, so I've cut the, this door down to width. Uh, what I've done now, because I'm going to use a little secret um, screws in here, I've just put a little line. Uh, this marks where the brace is on the other side, so I can screw straight through. I know I'm getting something solid. And now what I'm going to do is just lay this larch on. Um, I've left it over sailing each edge and on the end, and then once it's all on, I can just uh, trim the top, trim the bottom, trim the edges then I can look at building a frame and see if we can get it swinging. Now we're secret screwing uh, the tongue part of this board and I use these lovely little uh, tongue and groove screws, what they're called, tongue tight or something they're called, oh, tight plus, um, absolutely fantastic little screw. Stainless steel screw, they've got a threaded part there and then a clear shank part there. These are a fantastic little screw and they hold this clad in really well. Now what I'm doing here to help me, so I put my screw in the right place, I've got an off cut of this a timber and I just put it up against uh, from the groove onto the tongue and make a mark. Now what we're looking to do is obviously uh, we want our fixes to be behind this point here because obviously if they're here we'll see them. So uh, I'm going to put my fixes are going to be sort of in here somewhere. So what I'm going to do is cut this little section off this board here. Um, if I cut that off that then gives me like a little template jiggy thing that I can just each time I come to make a fixing, I can just put it in, mark the pencil down, and I know I can fix in that line, and you won't see the fixing. Right, that's a little jiggy thing cut, so that's in the right position. I put that on there, make a pencil mark. Sometimes it really just it does pay to take a few moments just to make a little aid like that to help you when it comes to setting out things like fixings. So then what I do is, although they have got a, these screws have got a wasted shank, um, I do like to pre-drill them anyway, it's just a good habit I find getting into and then if you get into um, situations where you're close to the end or the edge, you don't risk splitting. So what I'm going to do is I can go to a mark there, so pre-drill and get my fixing. Boom, straight in.
So that's the door complete. All of those boards are screwed on now. It, I've cut it to, to length and width and it's nice and square. Um, I'm probably, I'm not gonna fill that because I'm probably gonna use that lock hole to fit the new lock into. So now I've just gotta get some something to make the frame out of. I think I'm just gonna go softwood here and I'm probably just gonna get the decorator to, to uh, see if we can decorate it in the same sort of anthracite color as the rest of the windows and doors on the job. 